So I've got this box of burl cutoffs that I got a while ago. I've been doing some internet searches and came across this really neat idea of combining these burl pieces with resin to make some candle holders. And with the holidays right around the corner, I thought this would make a really good gift idea. So let's get started. So off camera, I made this HTPE mold and I'm just using some uh, stoner mold release to make sure that it comes out of there really easy. For today's project, I'm using some Alum Light Clear Slow Set. Gives you about a 12 minute working time, it's really good stuff. Uh, and then I'm using some Aluminite uh, dye. Uh, be careful, as you saw there, I went a little thick and it's a little darker than I want. Luckily, I'm making more than these and I learned my lesson, so I went easier on the dye. So the dimensions I'm going for are about eight and a half inches long by two and a half inches wide and about an inch and a half deep. I'm using the bandsaw for this initial cut just because it's a little unstable in its condition coming straight out of the mold um, and I just didn't feel that comfortable using the table saw on it yet. You needed a really flat surface uh, before I tried that. I get a lot of comments about using the, the planer with resin. And I've gotta say, I've never had any issues. I just take shallow passes, take my time, and it always comes out really great. Now that I've got a good flat surface, I'm, I'm able to take it to the table saw. Now I won't lie and say that I was really comfortable. I was a little nervous with the blade sticking so far out of the table saw, but I just took my time and it, it turned out really good in the end, but still new to woodworking and still have a lot of respect and probably always will have for these sharp pointy things. Alrighty, let's just take a break from the project for a second. I uh, got a mail call. I got um, some stickers and a nice note from Michael Alm over at AlmFab. Uh, all his contact information will be down below. Uh, Michael does some great things with uh, pattern plywood and just other videos, uh, very, very awesome videos, uh, great projects that he's working on. Thank you, Michael, for the stickers. Uh, I'm gonna put you up on the board here. I wanted to do most of the sanding before I drilled the holes here. I just figured that it would probably make it a little easier to have a solid surface. And then I'm going to take a, uh, just a, with by my hand, just some uh, sandpaper to take off the sharp edges. I don't want any kind of round over or chamfer. I just want to lightly take off the, the, the edges and that's what you see me doing here. Off camera I made this quick little jig and it just helps me create these inch and a half holes as a, as a guide when I get to the drill press here. And the, the dimensions are it's two inches from the ends on center and then the, the middle one is dead center with the, uh, the block. I'm going to use this templing bit to uh, get the rest of the way for the hole. The reason I'm doing this is with that Forstner bit, it leaves a little nub at the bottom. And being that the clear resin, you would be able to see that little nub. So I'm just doing the last little bit with this, uh, this templating bit. I initially tried this without this dust collector hose here and my goodness did it make a mess. So uh, I recommend uh, you know, using some sort of dust collector to, to take all these shavings away. Uh, it, it did help a lot. And now that I've got all of the 
process is done, I'm going to finish up the sanding and I'm going to take it up to 600. I only took it to 600 because I really liked that um, flat look that it gave. It, you can't see any scratches, um, but it just gave it a flat finish. Still can see through the resin, um, or should I say a matte finish. I just didn't want the shiny finish. And now I'm just going to you know, seal up the wood and give it a nice finish with this Odie's oil. They say a little bit goes a long way and they are not lying. Um, and at the price of it, it's, you really want to use just a little bit. I really hope you've enjoyed these uh, the series of videos that I've been doing lately. I've I've had a lot of fun doing them. I know they're not turning videos and a lot of you are used to seeing those, but it's been a lot of fun expanding my skill set. So I've really enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it too, you know, give it that thumbs up. If you haven't, that's okay. Give it a thumbs down, but like, comment, share, all those things help the channel. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.